What is up, Scorpio? This is your reading for February 2019. It's funny, it's 311 at, uh, on 130, so I keep seeing 13s today. Death, <laughs> which is your sign. Like, you guys are that card. Death. Knight of Wands. There's a fiery message. Fiery message. I think this has a lot to do with the, the energies. I do a lot of... Um, I, okay, so I just got into tarot, but I'm getting a lot of weird signs. Not just about people, but about, like, prophetic messages and shit. Mm, ego battles. Who are you fighting with? Conflict. War. Strife. Um, fighting yourself. Fighting other people. People talking about you. People... Mm. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, I just got a weird text message at 3.13. You and these threes from a Scorpio. From a really, really... He's got a lot of Scorpio in his chart, too. Weird. Okay. Ace of Swords upside down with the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, guys. Eight of Pentacles and Swords reversed. So, a divine opportunity is been handed to you Scorpio and you've been doing the work but you haven't spoke on it yet you haven't done all there is then to do yet you haven't done there's a darker side here and is it about oh I just got cold chills really cold chills like all down my legs but um there's a darker force here asking and I think that it's like separate yourself from it or or face your fears. Conquer it. A promise. The eight pointed star also stands for like Ishtar, um, the divine mother goddess, and it's also Aquarius. So it is Aquarius season. So going into your subconscious and this watery realm of Basically, um, like, whatever is in your basement, your hell, whatever you've made hell, nine of um, wands is the battle is over. You've been beaten up pretty badly. Your ego has been bruised, Scorpio. But you have to get to the bottom of whatever is going on with you right now. And I'm a Scorpio moon, actually. Um, so, it's got some, like, in my emotional realm, I'm very deep. And, you know, I like the darkness. I like the deep. The darker, the better. The messier somebody is, the more I love it. Anybody who's got a past, it's like, that shit makes me literally like, I'm like, okay, I can fuck with you now because you're real. Because you're grungy. Because you, because you know what it's like to live in hell and come back from it and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like people with a past, and I think that most Scorpios do. Like, that's just how we are. We like that darkness. Hmm. But you need to be careful in Seven of Wands. So you was past it, but we're jumping back in it? That's very Scorpio of you. <laughs> that's very Scorpio of us to, like, to just... And it, but it's not really like we do it on purpose. I don't think it's like when we get hurt, we get really hurt. But there is abundance to be found here in some way. There is treasure buried in this earth, whatever that may be. And we will find it. If we have to dig and fight everyone, we will find the treasure. What if the treasure is being handed to us? On a silver platter. <laughs> Parties. People. You don't really want to be around them right now. Not really ever. <laughs> but, um... Moving out of this self... Like... This self-torture. This self... 
emotional roller coaster of bullshit and taking the fucking cup that they gave you and making the best out of it. Like when life gives you lemons, squeeze them in the motherfucker's eyes that you hate. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, put some vodka in it. Give some to your little kitty cat. Um, so, <laughs> when you are in this Queen of Wands energy reversed, you are not being creative, you are not being clever, you are not being yourself clever enough, like getting things done, moving ahead, moving ahead, charging forward, being a loving individual to everyone, everyone, to... Comfort people to bring them up instead of down to charge forward with dignity and intelligence and know that you've spent your time doing the research. You've spent your time and you know what's true and what's not true. If this is a situation where you've been having to learn about yourself and how you feel about somebody else, or how you feel just being by yourself. If you've had to be in that type of energy of just trying to figure out what you truly believe, who you truly are, what side you're truly on, if there's a side at all. That's what the Knight of Swords says. He says, charge ahead with, with your true self today. With whatever you hold true, as the star that you are. Who are you? If you didn't have anything else left except your soul, except your spirit, and you didn't have this body, what would you do every day for, or forever? What would you do? What, what would you want to manifest in the next six months, in the next year? If nothing else mattered and all you had was your mind and your voice, what would you say? Please comment below because I do want to hear these, Scorpio. What would you say? Oh, I just picked Page of Wands. The journey of, um, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. One step. Today is that day to be in your power, to be in your passions, to be in that shell and, um, but Scorpio moves while they're in their shell. So you could have your armor up and still be moving. You don't have to, um, you don't have to, um, you're not a turtle. You're not out here with your head out and, like, not covered. You're covered. You're a fucking scorpion. Like, scorpions sting. But you're really soft on the inside. We know that. I know that. But there is hope here. There is emotional abundance. Um, there is fulfillment. There is, and it could be you dealing with a water sign too. Um, and I've been getting a lot of temperance, which is Sag fire energy. So, mm, so you're dealing with a fire sign. Um, just the temperance card is Sagittarius or a um, water sign with this water king this water sign could be you um, now you might be dealing with a queen of pentacles so you might be dealing with a Virgo a Capricorn or a um, Taurus who was you might have thought was mature and is now acting childish or she they were acting childish and now she's come into like a more um, mature role. Maybe it's um you, um, you and your, um, I don't know what your, the other aspects of your chart is, but figuring out um, what parts of you in this time, space, reality of Earth do you need to nurture 
or do you need to grow on or do you need to back up and become more childlike sometimes it's good to chill sometimes it's good to laugh sometimes it's good to do nothing and be in this creative energy or we get chill together <laughs> be in this energy of like creating of and it's perfect time with Aquarius so um what what makes you the what makes you bring out your inner child? What makes you remember love? What makes you remember passion? What makes you remember play? I'm gonna pull a couple of these just to cool. Inner voice. Listen to that small voice. That little person that you forgot about a long time ago. Listen to that teeny tiny faint echo inside of yourself. If whatever you've been thinking about, it, today's the day to do it. To stand up in your truth, your power, who you are. Mm. The dream and consciousness. So it's funny because the dream card is about a woman who is dreaming of this relationship because she believes it's going to make her happy. And in dreaming about this relationship, she's actually resisting the manifestation of this dream because she has to realize at the end of the day that she's whole on her own and nobody completes her it's a fucking lie fabricated from us wanting to run away from us because at the end of the day when you do hit consciousness when you do hit enlightenment you see the whole world as self it's like when in the bible they talk about help but uh, Lord God puts in em, 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 enmity between her seed and your seed is or thy seed or whatever he says but the, the thy seed is he's talking to the serpent and it's capital S so that's like the smaller self and the bigger self and maybe that what's it that that's what that um and maybe that that's what this king of cups stands for because to me He's a serpent. Like, look at his little eyes. Look at his little feet. This is totally Scorpio. Like, is Scorpio maybe the higher consciousness? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys... I still think you guys are the waters under the earth, but... A Virgo and Scorpio are very earth energies. We are the turtles. We are the scorpions. We are these underground things. We do go on land and in water but we're a little bit slow on the land so <laughs> but um don't quit dreaming your own dream because you think that you can find love outside of you because you can't get love outside of you until you fully come into yourself until you fully love you how is anyone else going to love you if you can't love you it's impossible you do not know love until you can see yourself until you can see yourself and every single other living creature being until you can see this divine pattern until you can watch the shit over and over and over and over and find the numbers and the and the um jumbled up fucking sounds in every language that make the same person basically it's like um you if you don't see the pattern of life just find the prostitute in every fucking story and it's gonna match with Mother Mary. Find find the um find the angry fucking brother wife husband who splits her in half. Find the flip flopped version of it too, because there's versions of both ways. One is girl the girl kills the guy, one is the guy kills the girl, but there's these patterns and it's like we have to look for our own patterns and our own cycles and that's what this is really about breaking these karmic cycles breaking yourself and freeing yourself from this karmic debt from these disgusting cycles of self-loathing and decades of us not feeling worthy and know that today if you are a starseed light worker if you have a divine mission if you are woke figure out what that is and move forward with that and pursue it because scorpios are going to be the game changer in this um series of events so yeah
pretty intense message, but I love you, Scorpio. I will see you guys in March. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Check out my website. Check out my art on there. <laughs> Rainbow period blood. Yup. <laughs> Bye.